Okay, logarithms are a, a little bit hard to get your head around unless you're quite a mathy person, but log n represents a logarithmic function, which uses an exponent to raise the value of a base number in order to produce the desired number. So that on its own isn't going to help if you're not sure what this means. So let's try an example. So we'll stick with base 2, and we'll say y equals log x. Well, if x is 8, okay, then y is equal to 3. So log x is 3 because you have to multiply base 2, 2 times 2 times 2 to get 8. Okay, now that's how logarithms work. So you can see as you raise that, while the logarithmic equivalent will grow, it won't grow anywhere near the rate at which it's not uh, relational to how which how this is going to grow. So this could grow quite big and the log of it could stay quite small. Now the example of which for from an algorithm point of view is a binary search. Because as the data set grows for a binary search, the impact the increase in the data set has on the time it takes is is minimal. All right, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as you go. Okay, because remember, it might take, I don't know, I'm just making this up, so this might not be right, but let's say you've got, um, I don't know, 10 items a day to it, it might take you four, um, you might have to look at four of them to um, work out whether something exists in a binary search, but let's say you've got 100 items of data, it still might only take you 12. So the impact the data set increasing has is, is um, minimal. So that's known as a logarithmic function is represented as O log N.